Hey, today I'm showing you how I made this video. Using the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and a couple of lights. So, uh, so I guess let's get into it. So I've been using the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra for a bunch of different things like vlog, b-roll shots, and creating product videos like the one I did in the last video. But today I'm going to show you how I actually did that because it's not just turning on your phone and pressing record and you get a cool video. It takes some work and a little bit more thinking. So a couple of things you're going to need is a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra or even an iPhone or any smartphone camera that's kind of newer will work as long as you have like a pro mode feature where you can dial in the settings such as shutter, ISO, and white balance. You're gonna need a light that is dimmable, something like the Aperture 300D, which is pricey if you don't have something like that. Something like the Godox or newer SL60, which is also dimmable. You wanna have control over the lighting, how bright or how dim you want it. Next thing you need is a light like the Aperture MC RGB. Something like this. You can choose the color you want, you can dim it as well, and you can hold it and move it around in your frame to get some cool lighting effects. This is one of my favorite lights, honestly, that I've been using lately to light a lot of different things. And as you can see, you can do a lot of different cool stuff with it. Next thing you need is a background. You can use something like this, which is just a black cardboard that I bought from like Staples, I think it was. They're super cheap, easy to use, and they don't take up much space, so you can use either white or black. We're gonna go with black today because we're just we're just emo like that. Next thing you need is something like this, which is called the Lazy Susan. I don't know why it's called the Lazy Susan. Why would, why would this thing be called the Lazy Susan? Maybe some lady na named Susan back in the day was like lazy and was like, I don't know why <laughs> it's called the Lazy Susan. But you can buy one of these at like TJ Maxx for $3.99 if you guys can see the price there. Or uh, Bed Bath & Beyond where they're gonna rip you off and charge you probably like 20 bucks. But one of these, I know it's an ugly color and very bright and stuff, but I'll show you guys how to hide this in your shots when we get to filming as well. And you also need like a tabletop or like a chair or something to place your product on. Today we're using, today we're using a drum throne because I have a drum throne here and well our product is not that big to need a whole tabletop, we can literally place the phone on here and we'll be good to go. One other thing I did forget to mention and is kind of important is a tripod with a cell phone clip holder whatever it is you need to put your cell phone on and get some really steady shots we're not going to be doing much moving most of them are going to be steady and movement is actually added in post so these tips and the things we're doing here can also be applied to any camera that you're using we have two galaxy note 20 ultras my phone and erica's phone and we're going to put my phone on the stand and then we're going to film with her phone once you have your Lazy Susan on your drum throne or your tabletop, uh, I did mention that you needed something to cover it since we're going for a dark look. All we want is the phone to be showing in the shot. So you can grab like a black cloth and place it over your Lazy Susan. Look at that. Susan's not so lazy anymore, is she? Another cool little thing I use is a little phone stand, which is something like this. You can buy these like on Amazon and stuff like that. Or you can just use anything else to kind of prop your phone up. But since you are going to be spinning it, you want something that can your phone can sit on or your product can sit on while you spin it around and get some cool lighting. You can place your product on the Lazy Susan and then you spin it, but then you got this that's exposed. Well, so you want to leave enough back here to cover the, the back of the stand. This will look a lot better if you have an actual black cloth that's just clean. But this will work once we put the lighting in and everything's going to be dark. You're not going to be able to see anything other than the phone. Next thing you need is your background. You can either, I mean, you have like an orange app, which most of you don't probably watching this channel. You put the background up and you can put it like this, like that. Here we're going for just complete darkness, darkness around the product. This will just get rid of the background and we're going to shoot tight as well. So. For your lighting, you want to get the light with the softbox as close as you can to the subject above it. Um, I don't have a C-stand, so I kind of have just the light pointing kind of an angle, but you want to get it as low as you can without it being in the shot, obviously. And then that way, when you're spinning your product, you're getting different angles of lights. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into 8K mode on here. 
pro video mode and then into 16 by 9 8k so we're gonna get in as close as we can into our subject as you can see here uh, we got the cell phone and then we got the phone there and then what we want to do is we want to actually take control of this camera so 50 for ISO 150th of a shutter for wide balance we're gonna keep it at 5500 we want to take control of the focus as well this phone has focus peaking as you can see there we're in focus now and you want to bring in if you want to get like a tight shot of the lens let's say and then you want to bring down the light right about three percent there depending how the lights hitting it you're gonna be able to see it doing its thing right there we can increase the shutter here maybe even to get darker so the background gets darker and then increase your lighting a little just so that you have the actual so that you have the actual phone in focus and in the frame and then the lighting when it hits it that's the only thing that's being lit so we have our basic lighting here now with the big light up here what we're going to do now is we're going to add the accent light which is something like the aperture mc rgb you want to turn this on and there is, a, there is a feature in this light where you can choose the color, the color you want to shine onto this phone, and we did that with the app. I remember the hue, since both our phones are occupied right now, I'm not gonna go and do that right now, but I remember the hue for that color was nine on here, and then the saturation was at like 43, I think. So then you got a color that's similar to like the rose gold or mystic bronze of this phone. And then you can mess with the lighting. Um, usually, you know, you want to help someone help you with this or you know you hold the light out here and you spin it and it hits it in different angles it's gonna give you a lot of cool different lighting so you want to go around it you want to do different things like that you know you want to be able to have the phone go into darkness and then the lighting darkness and then the lighting and then if you hold up a light at a certain angle be able to hit that and get those cool shots some of the shots that i got were kind of just um shots that were i was like locked onto the shot like this and then all i did was bring the light around it and mess with it so you get those ring lights around the lenses which makes it look really really cool and then you can crop in and post for those it look really awesome you can also uh add some key you can key in some movement as well you know, you can uh, make it zoom in or zoom out and give it some depth, give it some movement instead of just a locked off shot, you know, and movement is always good in video for these kind of shots. And yeah, there's not much to this other than, you know, you gotta get creative with the lighting, you gotta get creative with how you move the light around, you gotta be careful with reflections, but you can have a lot of fun with this and get really creative with your product shots. Make some cool videos with even a cell phone. This is a key, this is a key part of this to get some cool shots. And that's a quick rundown on how you can accomplish that commercial look in your small room with the cell phone. And like I said, you can use any camera and use these tips, these lighting tips, which is very basic. And movement is very key with these product commercials and product videos because that's what makes it a video, movement. And yeah, it's not that difficult, you guys. Uh, you just gotta get creative. You just gotta think of different ideas and different ways of doing things and different ways of lighting it, and you'll get some cool results. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. So make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.